Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. You're knowing what you're wanting? Yes. It moves a bit, doesn't it? Yes. It evolves with you. Your desire expands with your life experience, yes? yes? Do you feel for the most part that the desires that are active within you right now feel good to you? Yes. So your desires are feeling mostly good to you? That's good because that means, vibrationally speaking, that you're not far from them. In other words, you're believing them more than you're doubting them. You're expecting them more than you're worrying about them not coming. Do you have desires that you've held for a while that seem stubborn and don't come? Yes. Well, those are the ones where you have practiced beliefs. It's interesting, isn't it? So you're growing up and somebody close to you, maybe your mother, she believes something and she talks about it all the time. And because she focuses on it, a belief is just a thought that you continue to think, yes? yes? So because she focuses on it a lot, the law of attraction yields to her what she's focusing upon. So she demonstrates it through her life experience. So now you've been hearing her saying it and watching her living it. So it's very believable to you too. And so you then tell the same story and demonstrate the same things not realizing that it is your attention to it that is causing the law of attraction to respond to you. And so if you're like most people, you have beliefs that serve you well and some beliefs that are not serving you so well. And a belief that gets in the way of your desire is not serving you. It's not serving you for many reasons. The biggest reason is because as you are living your life and you're sifting and sorting and knowing what you don't want and therefore knowing what you do want, you are calibrating or creating a vibrational frequency or atmosphere of what you do want. You can't focus on something unwanted without simultaneously creating its opposite. So if you feel afraid, you create more clarity and strength if you feel unworthy you create more worthiness there's a equal vibrational wave on either side of this equation you are source energy demonstrating in these physical bodies you are an extension of source energy and you came into this environment this balanced glorious diverse contrasting environment so that you as a magnificent creator could evaluate from your important and personal point of view so that you could acknowledge what is not pleasing to you and in the same moment you would begin acknowledging what would please you but the thing is with you and your physical perspective when you are really aware of what you don't want you are so aware of what you do not want that you're not aware of the other side of that equation but the source from which you have come is your inner being knows that you are asking for more prosperity and more kindness and more love and more clarity when you are focused upon things that are not that way so without knowing it you are creating a vibrational reality it is so vivid and so real and so important and so the very reason that you are here in your physical body that we in wanting to get your attention about it we call it the vortex we want you to realize that it is something that is real and it is something that is created by you and is something that is tended by that source energy part of you when you launch a rocket of desire that non-physical part of you becomes it. But sometimes that's hard for you to hear because you are so accustomed to acknowledging you or me in my physical human body that you don't realize that you are so much more than this physical human body. You are source energy. You are energy vibration 
that is primarily what you are and that energy is demonstrated is manifested in this physicality but you are source energy so as you launch those rockets of desire you are actually causing the non-physical part of you to become more and more and more as a result of your life experience you are causing expansion universal expansion and the thing about your inner being that we really want you to remember is that your inner being is so source energy oriented never focused lackfully or hatefully only in love and clarity that if you find yourself and sometimes it just feels impossible for you to feel otherwise when you're focused upon something that you really do not want or really do not like your inner being does not go there with you that's why your emotional guidance system works for you the way that it does when you find something that you don't want your inner being holds steady to all the things that you have become and while you are focused upon what you do not want while you're calibrating to that without even realizing you are you are simultaneously calibrating to what is preferred and that is what your inner being calibrates to when you have what you call your death experience we like to call it croaking because we like to be disrespectful of your idea of death because your idea of death does not exist when you croak you will reemerge into non-physical into that pure positive energy place where all doubts and fears are left behind because the only reason that doubts and fears and anger and frustration or any of those emotions that you call or feel as negative emotions the only reason that they even exist is because they are your guidance system letting you know that the larger part of you is focused in a different way than where you are your inner being is not hating that guy you're hating and the reason you feel the way you do when you focus in such a way is because the larger part of you the more of you the most of you the who you really are of you didn't go to that thought so you might wonder well then why didn't I just stay there with them sounds nice <laughs> and we say because you wanted we all wanted the experience of expansion if you don't know what you don't want you can't know what you do want contrast is what causes you to focus the more into becoming that's what creation is it's focus because creation happens with thought we know you think it happens with your action because you move things around and you get stuff done but the creation the true creation is happening through your thought in conjunction with your source energy and then the action part of it from our point of view if we were standing in your physical shoes would be the way that we would enjoy what you've created your brilliant creators worthy beyond our ability to express it to you and you've come into this environment to have the joyous experience of expansion and so that's what we like to talk about anytime you're willing to listen so your source energy you came into this physical body splat and then you began exploring knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want launching these rockets of desire the source energy part of you wraps around what you're asking for calibrates to it holds steady to it and this is the part that we really want you to hear you've been hearing about this law of attraction thing yes well the law of attraction is such a real thing it is what manages all vibrations universally and it means that what you focus upon is what comes to you if you see something and you say yes what you are saying yes to is coming to you if you see something and you shout no what you are shouting no at comes to you because there is no yes and no in an all-inclusive universe there's only attention to it or not so as you are exploring and launching these rockets of desires and the law of attraction is responding to you we really want you to understand that the law of attraction is responding to that larger non-physical part of you too and because there's no resistance present in the frequency of your source energy then what is focused upon from the perspective of your source is powerfully attracted to that source energy part of you that's why this vortex that we talk about your vortex that you've created through the living of your life and some of it even before you got here into this physical body it is huge and it is powerful and it is attractive in nature a million times more attractive that isn't even the right relationship 
from what you could focus upon in your physicalness in other words one who is connected to source energy is more powerful than millions who are not so when you are focused in your physical body if you are focused in alignment with your source which means you feel great you're feeling love or appreciation or something like that when you're lined up like that when you're tuned in tapped in turned on like that your point of attraction is so powerful and you see results pleasing never-ending results but if you're focused over there in anger or frustration that anger or frustration is simply your indicator that you focused yourself away from how source sees it it isn't wrong to do that because knowing what you don't want launches rockets of what you do want and that was your plan that's what you came to do just don't make a career out of that we call that step one step one is ask and you can't ask for something until you've evaluated and come to your own personal important personal conclusions about what you're asking for and when you ask step two is it is given immediately and the reason it is is because when you ask you launch the rocket when you launch the rocket your inner being and law of attraction get all over it and the vibrational beginning of your desire happens the next step is really what we focus upon in these gatherings what are you doing about it after you've asked are you joining your inner being in the positive expectation of its becoming are you looking for evidence of it are you appreciating what's around you or are you fixated on what's wrong which end of this stick of creation are you calibrating to are you continuing to justify why you want that by explaining how terrible it is not to have it are you joining together with other groups of people who are also in protest in the absence of what they want because when you are in that modality you are not allowing you're not letting in you're not accomplishing step three you're not receiving what you're asking for in fact you're resisting what you're asking for and then step four is you just get really good at being in the receiving mode and step five our favorite really takes a while to get there step five is when you're back in step one and you don't mind you're back in step one and you understand the value of it you're back in step one and you know you're sorting and sifting and calibrating and you know the whole time you're writhing in the discomfort of what's wrong you're creating an equivalent rightness of what's right in other words you understand that and once you get the hang of this once you are willing to acknowledge that feeling good is a good thing for you once you acknowledge that your inner being is always aware of you never apart from you always rooting for you aware of every engagement you have with every thought word or deed aware of you always aware of you and while aware of you having thoughts about you pure positive thoughts about you thoughts of expectation thoughts of success thoughts of adoration thoughts of your worthiness thoughts of thankfulness for you playing your role in the expansion of the universe and when you get crossways of those thoughts like when you put yourself down or others or like when you push hard against something unwanted when you have those kinds of thoughts then all that has happened is you've set up some resistance so that you're not in the receiving mode not in the receiving mode of what you want not in the receiving mode of your connection with your inner being that feels like love and appreciation not in connection with clear thoughts that stream from your vortex into your own mind when you have resistance you block the stream that's flowing to you you block the good ideas your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything you desire and it's constantly streaming awareness of how to get there but if you're all balled up in what's wrong you're not getting any of those messages but it doesn't stop the messages that's the thing that we most want you to understand your inner being is flowing to you at all times the question is are you in the receiving mode or not